Eiffel. London. London. This is James Elder for I from London. I'm live inside the Troxy for Spencer Fear on show. My headline in Choi. With me, I've got Slim the comedian. What's happening, Slim? What's going on? How are you, big man? I'm all right, cuz. I'm all right. It's been, what's it got to be? 15 months since we caught up? Yeah, it's been a long time. One of the uh, R&B acts came over, I think. That's the last time you interviewed me. Oh, going back a long time then. Marion. Ma what's, what's the name? Amarian. Amarian, hear me, Marion. I'm so old. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Marion came over. That's the last time. But yeah, we've bucked up again. Are you a big boxing fan then, Slim? Is this somewhere shows you do, you get about? Absolutely. Big boxing fan. I don't watch football. I'm sorry, I'm not gay. But this is my thing right here. You understand? Yep. Boxing one on one. If someone loses. There ain't like 11 other men to blame or 10 other men to blame. It's you and the other guy. That's it. I love it. I've been a boxing fan from young. What have you thought about the fights tonight? What did you think about Choi's fight? Did you reckon it? Choi's fight was excellent. You know what? I missed the knockout, Choi. I missed it. I went to the toilet when you went for the, the last round, when they went for the break. When I came back out, bang, he's on the floor. What can I say? Watch the whole of the fight and the knockout I missed. One thing about Choi, you can't move when he's on. He's so powerful for a little guy. The power he generates, it's always, you've always got to watch for that. You know what I mean? He, he can knock you out at any time in a fight. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I saw him slow it up the last two rounds because I, I think, you know, it's a matter of maintaining stamina, etc. Um, but he came back strong. Do you get what I mean? He came back strong and he got his knockout. So... Well done, Choi. Well done, Spencer. Another wicked showcase. Are you mates of Spencer? Something just tells me you and Spencer are pals. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm just feeling this. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't deny I'm like Judas, you know what I mean? Me and Spencer go back from, oh, Jesus, when we're like late teens, early, early 20s. We won't say our age now, but we've both risen in our chosen fields, and it's great to come out and support him. When I've got my shows, he comes out, he brings these lads down from the gym. So it's, it's love all around. It's love all around. That's big. What have you been up to recently then? Last time we caught up, you were working a com comedy circuit, doing your entertaining. I'm hearing you're going on to some bigger bigger things and better pastures. Would that be right? Bigger fish to fry now. Bigger fish. I, I want that house money. I've got the car money. I want the house money now. So I'm on the mainstream circuit as well. I've been doing um, Jonglers, Glee, you know, up and down. But what I've done recently is record a special for the comedy store for Comedy Central. Wow. So that should be airing very soon. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. I want to ask you as well, um, who is your all-time favourite boxer? If you had to name one boxer, can be British, American, whoever. Give me, give me a little insight, Slim. Give me some, give me something. Wow, you know, to have just one, that that is so hard. There's so much great. Come on, Slim, get off the fence, man. I, I mean it. I, I would, I'd say Tyson, obviously, because of the era we grew up in. Jack Johnson, I loved him in his era as well. The first black heavyweight champ of the world. Do you know? You had Joe Lewis. You had people like. Sam you and Spencer weren't around in his era, though. Surely you're not that old. We, no, no, we're not that old. You know what I mean? Well, we, um, but you've got so much boxers out there in a great era, not just heavyweights, you've got middleweights, you know, your hagglers, your, 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 your um, lightweights, your, your moralis, etc., etc. So you can't just put it on, down on one individual. I can't just say one individual fighter. Yeah, I've got about top five. Give me a top five, man, not top one. <laughs> All right, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. Do you know what, Slim, as well? We were talking the other day and we was like, who was the first person that we interviewed, a little bit of iFilm trivia and put on iFilm. Can you take a while guess who that was? <laughs> that would have been me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, it was. No, it was. <laughs> I thought so. I said, these men set me up. That's me. That's me. Yeah. yeah. So, for, to come from where we are, from where we was back then, and do you know what I mean? You you were one of the people that believed in us and give us a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Some people laughed at us. Some people didn't quite understand the concept. Well, they're not laughing so much now, Slim. Do you know what I mean? No. Listen, you know, cream rises to the top. Do you get what I mean? You, uh, you heard the old saying. I ain't going to go that far. I ain't going to go that far to cream. More like something else rises to the top as well. Well, but yeah, well, we won't go that filthy, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you've been out there doing your thing. You know, consistency and longevity. If you stick at something and you believe in it, 
you're running a, you know, a tight ship, um, and you're doing great. Do you know what I mean? You're doing your things, just right. like me. If there's anything we can do to help you, are, like any comedy shows, you want someone to come down and just terrorise you and wind you up, heckle you a little bit, let us know, we'll bring the cameras, make a day of it, you know what I mean? You're always welcome on my shows, bro. You know that, always welcome. And the viewers too, man. Big up all the viewers, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. I saw a few people recognising you today as well, quite a few pictures on the firm. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just strange, because I go out now, I do get recognised by, especially the urban, um, community so that's a great thing hopefully one day I'll have to walk with bodyguards you know <laughs> security you know what I'm saying but for now yeah it's nice you know what I mean that at least I appreciate what I've been out there doing for years well, good luck to you sir and genuinely always as always it's a great great pleasure to see you and I'll catch you soon to the people them respect Slim Cesar James Holder was Slim the comedian for iFilm London thank you very much I feel blunt, blunt, blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.